In this video, we're going to show you how to install the fuel pump module on your Infiniti G37X located underneath the rear seat. With the hood open, on the passenger side, you're going to locate your battery cover here. There's two little spring clips here. You're going to push in, lift up, and pull the cover off. With the cover removed, we're going to use our 10 millimeter wrench to disconnect the ground terminal on the battery. Pull that off and just tuck it aside. Now we're in the back seat area here and we need to lift up our back cushion. In order to do so, right along the front, you're gonna locate a black tab here. There's one on the passenger side, right in the center of the seat cushion, and there's one on the driver's side as well. What you wanna do is grab this here with your fingertip and pull it out. It's actually a lock release. So you pull it out, lift up on the seat a little bit like so, and you can do the same on the driver's side. And we can lift up on the seat, push your seat belt latches down inside, pull this up and out. And once you have this release, we're going to go ahead and remove this from the vehicle. On the passenger side here, we have to go ahead and remove this cover. Now you can use a pair of pliers or preferably use a Phillips head screwdriver in the center of each one of these four tabs. Now normally you want to loosen something by turning it counterclockwise, but these here, you need to turn them clockwise. I'm just going to turn it until they unlock off of this cover. Now for any reason, if the Phillips head is not working for you, you can simply use a pair of pliers and gently grab and twist that. Now once those are all lined up, pull off this cover. I'm going to slide this back a little bit. Now right here is an electrical connector. We want to go ahead and disconnect this here. There's a little spring clip on the back side. You want to push down on this. Now there is a bunch of dirt around here. It's probably going to be stuck. If you want to, you can go ahead and spray it down with a spray lube or something like that to release this. We use our pliers here to come around and just gently pinch this tab. And try and work this off. There it is. Now around the perimeter, we have a series of screws, and now we also have a fuel line right here. We need to disconnect this. Ideally, you wanna go ahead and use a, either a vacuum or compressed air to clean all the debris away from the top of the tank. We don't want any of this stuff to fall down inside the tank when we pull this out. Now we have our fuel line coming over here. And what you wanna do, two things. Safety glasses are a must. You want to protect your eyes. Now, there may be some fuel pressure in here. Now, in our particular case, our vehicle has not been run in a while, so we know that the fuel pressure has been released or at least depressurized quite a bit. Now, at this point, if you're replacing these components, your vehicle's probably not running. Once again, the fuel system is probably depressurized, but you can never be too safe. Use a rag, safety gloves or rubber gloves, safety glasses. You want to pinch those tabs here. And we want to pull this hose off. We do have a little bit of fuel leakage here, but not a lot. So that's why we're using a rag also to take up any pressure that might have released there. Now we went ahead and placed some rags right here and we have a catch can beside us. When we remove this component, you want to go ahead and set it into the catch can and then grab your new component and get that ready to drop in. Now we're on the perimeter here, we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver to go ahead to loosen and remove the hardware holding this into place. Now any of the screws that you can't get with the screwdriver, go ahead and use an 8 millimeter socket and your ratchet to go ahead and loosen and remove those. In our particular case, this one here has some factory sealant in the threads, so we do have to use a ratchet to go ahead and loosen and remove this. Now make sure when you're doing this job, you're in a well-ventilated area. And number two, if you notice, we're not using any power tools with this here. We don't want to introduce any type of sparks or electronic components around the fuel or vapor source. So using basic hand tools, this job can be performed.
take note of the position of the port and the electrical connector. This is spring loaded, so it's pushing itself up. Remove the lock ring, set that aside. Now this will have a bunch of fuel in it. So you wanna be careful pulling this up and out, not to spill it everywhere. You try pinching the tabs here and working the fuel line off. up you're gonna to have to tilt it pop that fuel line out of the retainer clip here there's your component Now here you want to go ahead and wipe this down, making sure that any of the debris is being wiped away to the sides. We have our O-ring seal here. You want to work that out, remove that. Make sure that the spot here where the O-ring is going to be placed is clean and clear of any debris. Set that O-ring into place. Go ahead and grab your component and you want to go ahead and tilt this and get the sender lower down in. Now we need to reach down and grab the fuel line out of the tank. Pull that up and install this. You wanna make sure that the lock tabs here line up with the little windows on the hose itself. Push that up and on. Ahead and give that line a little tug make sure it's locked in and it is also make sure that the line is locked into the little retainer clips down below let's go ahead and lower the unit down into the tank now this is spring loaded so there's going to be some tension or pressure actually once you push this down and in go ahead and grab that lock collar let's go ahead and line this up Once you have this set in a place, let's go ahead and get a couple screws lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a couple of these started here just to hold this down into place. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these installed. Now let's evenly snug these down. I'm gonna work around in a crisscross pattern, snugging them down into position. going to go around one more time making sure that this is good and snug go ahead and grab that fuel line this is the same style connector that it had on the inside of the tank there's two little windows on both sides here that need to line up with the locking tabs on our clip here. So line that up, 
I'm gonna slide it over. And you're gonna hear it snap into place. If you don't hear that snap on, it's not locked. Give that a little wiggle, make sure that's good to go. Go ahead and take the connector here. Ours is a little bit dirty. We're just gonna give that a quick wipe down. Line that up. Push that on. You're gonna feel in here it snap into place, but give that a little tug. Make sure it's locked on. Install your cover. Turn these counterclockwise. Now we have our back seat here ready to go in. Now there's some tabs on the back here that are gonna go up underneath the backrest area. We also need to feed our seat belt latches through. So we're gonna push the seat up and in, and then reach underneath and feed the seat belts through the cushion. Pull it up and through. And then push the seat back and in. Now we just need to push our seat down into the latch. Push it down here at click. Repeat for the other side. Go ahead and grab that ground terminal, slide that back on. Let's go ahead and snug down that nut. And once that's good and snug, go ahead and grab that terminal. We'll give it a good wiggle, make sure that it's on there nice and tight. Install your cover. Make sure that the three tabs on the back go in first, tilting it downward, and then bring it forward. Snap the cover in place. Now you wanna hop into the vehicle. Start up the vehicle, let it run for a little bit, make sure everything that we did doesn't have any leaks, and that the car performs properly. Go ahead and take it for road test, and at that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.